The DVB01, a multifunction voltage monitoring controller. The DVB01 has two modes of operation. The first, operational mode. The second, parameter set mode. When you apply power to the DVB01 module, it automatically goes into the operational mode. There are six parameters associated with the DVB01. Function set, preset high voltage, preset low voltage, calibrate the display, time delay for P1, time delay for P2. Button switches. Four button switches on the module. Set, switch one, increase, decrease. The set button will change the modes, operational, parameter set. It'll save the parameter settings when you set them up. It'll view the parameter values and it'll turn the display on and off. SW1 is used to page down the menu, the parameter menu, implement power savings and select the display, which on the display, select which of the digits when they are flashing will be adjusted in value. To adjust your digits in value, you have an increase button and a decrease button. Relay status. Just two positions for the relay, off and on. When it's off, the pole is making contact with the normally closed terminal. When it's on, the common or the pole is making contact with the normally open terminal. Right now, the relay is on. This LED, green LED here, identifies the relay being on. This, this, this LED identifies power being applied to the board. With the relay being on or energized, the pole is making contact with the normally open terminal and the green light is on. When the relay is de-energized, the red light will be on. Holding the set button down for over a second will take you out of the operational mode into the parameter set mode. To see what function I have selected, I will hit the set button again, and it tells me I'm at function 5. There are function 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Z 0 and 1 have no effect on the relay. In 0, 1, all you do is have the display show the value of the voltage for the measuring input. So we will start with function 2. Once you have function 2 set, hit the set button and it will save it. Now we want to go to set up P1 and P2. P1, its value is 11 volts. That's really what I want for P1. P1 is a high preset voltage. If I wanted to change that, it is flashing, I would just use the increase button to change it or decrease button to change it. If I wanted to change one of the other digits, I would hit the SW1 button and it'll make that digit flash or 
the end digit flash. And you use the up and down button to change the value for them. Once you have your value set, hit the set button and it saves it. I now want to go to P2. Go to P2, I want to set up for 10 volts. I think I have that already set up. Once again, I could set up the digits however I wish. Once I have them set up the way I want them, I hit the set button. It saves it. Once I have the parameters set, I'll hit the set button for a long period, over a second, and it'll go into the operational mode. We are implementing function 2. Function 2 is called the charge function. If you had a charger hooked to the relay contacts rather than my LEDs, the charger would be turned on and off depending on the status of the relay. I will now demonstrate function 2. When the charge on the battery or supercapacitor decreases to the value preset for P2, 10 volts, the relay will energize and turn on the charger. The charger, the relay, will remain on and the charger will remain on until it hits the high preset voltage, P1, and it'll turn off. Demonstrating that, I am above the 11 volts that I have set for the higher preset voltage. When you decrease the voltage down through that value, down to below 10 volts, the relay energizes. Green light came on. The relay will stay energized until I come up to the higher preset voltage beyond it. It'll de-energize. Once again, relay is de-energized when it's above the P2. When it goes below P2, it energizes. It'll stay energized until it reaches the higher preset value, P1. Going to function 3. Function 3 is the mirror of function 2 in that the decreasing voltage we have the relay energized or on. When it reaches the lower value, it will turn it off the relay. It will stay off until it reaches the higher value. Going in and setting up for function 3. I at P0, I hit the set button. I'm at function 2. I will increase that to function 3. Save it. Go back to operational mode. In operational mode, I'm above the preset, higher preset value. I'm above the lower preset value. The relay is energized, green light being on. Decrease the voltage. 9.9, .9, voila. The energized relay de-energizes, turns off. I will remain off. The relay will remain off until I hit the high preset value. Function 4. Function 4 and function 5 are range functions. If the preset values are establishing the range, then if you're outside of the preset values, higher or lower, 
the relay will be off on function 4. If you're in, within the range of the preset value, the relay will be on or energized. Coming out of operational mode, go to the function by hitting the set button again. We're at function 3, we want to go to function 4. Save that, go back into operational back in operational mode. Now when we come down below the 11 volts the relay should turn on and there it is. Continue on down to the lower V preset voltage 10 volts. When we go on the other side of that the relay de-energizes. We come up on the other side of that to over 10 volts the relay will uh, energize and when we hit 11 volts it'll de-energize. So within range, the relay is energized. Out of range, it is de-energized. Function 5 is just the mirror of that. Coming out of operational mode. Going to function select. Coming down to function 5. Setting it in. Going to operational mode. We are above the high preset value, so the relay is on, as indicated by my green light. Within the range, the relay will be off, just the opposite of what function 4 did. Coming down below the high preset voltage, the relay should de-energize. It will stay de-energized until it goes beyond the lower preset voltage. When it comes back up above 10 volts, it will de-energize. It will stay de-energized until it crosses the 11 volt. Outside the range, the relay is on. Inside the range, the relay is off. Just the opposite of what you have with function 4. Now, now that I have function 5 set up, let me demonstrate the delay timing associated with the parameters P4 and P5. P4 is a time delay associated with P1 and P5 is a time delay associated with P2. Come out of the operational mode. We'll go down to P4. There's P4. Check what its value is. Zero right now. Let's set that up for 10 seconds. Do that, I would use my SW1 to select the tens digit. Increase that to 1 and set it. Go to P5. Check its value. Go to the tens digit. Set it to 1 save it. Go back into operational mode. Now, I'm, I have to be a little bit above. I was, I was right on the range, right on the edge there. Now I'm a little bit of uh, F2. I'm above the preset value, so the relay should be energized, which it is, the green light is on. Now I will come down to 10.9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The uh, 10 second delay 
the relay de-energized. Come down to the B2 9.9 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The relay after 10 seconds delay energize. When I come back into range, I will have another 10 second wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see what happens up at the upper end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's your delay. There is a user manual available. Just search for DVB01.